Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. You should take his words to heart. Ah, rookies. With an attitude like that, at least I know we will not be bored. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a Neon staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold him... I need to impress that upon you. Because the fact that you think justice is absolute concerns me, Deputy. It's never that simple. Justice can mean different things to different people, and laws can be interpreted and debated. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Somebody just picked my pocket. Huh. Welcome to Neon. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's hot. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. you. Gave me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones. Sure. You've got a hook there. What do you need? I want to get sold to them. Hmm. A stolen hope tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. Know what I mean? <laughs> Everything in Neon has a price. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. No need to get rough here. The truth is, I'm scared enough as it is. Seems your approach worked. I can help you, but right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? P 
Please. I'm begging you. Just... just hear me out. I've got nowhere else to turn and I'm running out of time. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. An all too familiar story in this city. Yeah, but I never thought I'd be part of one of those stories. Did my best to stay out of trouble, but... <sighs> found me anyway. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. The place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Walking. This is private property. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. Do you now? I'd like to think so. I wish I could, but if anybody found out, I'd helped you. I hear you. Maybe we can work something out. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Here, this will get you in. Ugh. I do not understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. What? You got a problem? Something I can do for you, friend. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Ah, oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I do not find that very amusing. Oh, I intend you no offense. It just seems to me that you're trying to get involved in business that ain't yours. What's your stake in this anyway? If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn. How about I save us both some time and deal with you right now? If there was something out there, it's gone now.
best not if you are supposed to leave. Talk to Goodman. Well, have you got any proof? When a ranger says they're gonna do something, they do it. Now start talking. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so it must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. and his... what are you? A sidekick or something? Aw, oh, come on now. Don't tease a girl. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Fine, yes. I jacked the ship. But look, I was just a contractor. I didn't even keep the ship. I gave it to some men. It was just a quick, clean job. I made sure nobody got hurt. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. 
Look, I wouldn't have got involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. Uh, is this really what we're doing? Maybe I can make an exception. I'm trying to be reasonable here. No way I cheat a free star ranger. I ain't that stupid. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this. Eight men can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. You should try Phil Burns' beer. It's brewed in the city. Not everyone gets to say they work at the Rock. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the food. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Okay, okay, the new deputy is all business. You angling to make Ranger tomorrow or something? <laughs> Just a little joke there. Anyway, moving right along. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? 
Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. All right. How can I help? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy. 